Hey you guys, it's me, Cindy of Herm's Kitchen. So today, I am going to show you how to make this delicious homemade roasted stuffed pork belly. So gather all your ingredients together and let's start cooking. These are the herbs that you're going to need for your stuffing. First, mash your black peppercorns, then set this aside. Mash your garlic instead of chopping. The reason being is you will get the most flavor out of it. And then next, smack that lemongrass for intense flavor. And trust me, this is going to give you the best aroma and the best flavor for your pork belly. Chop the red onion and set this aside. Now let's work on our belly. So pat dry the belly before you start scoring it. Score the belly in any direction you like. Just do it one inch apart. We're doing this one so the heat can get in more quicker and also the flavor from the herbs can get in more to the meat. Mix in the smashed black peppercorns along with the garlic powder and with the salt. Then rub this mixture to the meat. Now, if you like extra spice from your meat, you can always add additional black pepper powder and garlic powder. Start spreading the mashed garlic along with the red onion on top of your meat. And for more flavor, sprinkle one tablespoon of olive oil. Spread the spring onion and the lemongrass on top of the meat and cover this one with cling film. Now please leave this one inside the fridge overnight to enhance the flavor. After preheating your oven for 200 degrees Celsius, you can start rolling your pork and tie it up. If you have enjoyed this video so far and find it helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and share this video. To prevent it from drying out, rub the skin with olive oil. Now for steaming, get the spices ready and put it on your baking tray along with the water. Now for the exciting part, cover the rolled pork with foil and bake this one for 180 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. Please keep an eye to your water. If it dries out, add more. After 2 hours, remove the water and the foil and brush the skin with Coca-Cola or a fresh milk. Roast this one for another 2 hours or until the skin is nice and crispy. Ta-da! You can serve this one with your favorite sauce. You can have it with gravy or with soy sauce or with vinegar. Thank you for watching you guys and if you have tried this one, please let me know. Leave a comment below and bon appetit!